again, it's Anne from Anne Makes. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, please uh, hit the subscribe button below if you're not already subscribed or the Anne Makes in the bottom of the screen there and click on that bell so you'll be notified whenever I post a DIY how-to or haul video. Today I have the second part of a very big Dollarama haul that was done at the end of September and I was unable to film until today because I was traveling. So here goes the part two of the Dollarama haul. I got these, I think these are absolutely gorgeous Halloween uh, napkins and paper plates that are all coordinated. I think the Dollarama has some really fabulous stuff for Halloween and uh, they don't disappoint this year. Party Creations is the brand. Spooky Symbols is the name that they give it. There's 16 in here of these two ply napkins and these are $1.25. There's also the cocktail version with the lovely, scare, uh, lovely crow and a bottle of poison, I guess, that says rest in peace. And I just adore this. It's very vintage looking. It has a lot of, I feel, a Tim Holtz Halloween look to it. So, uh, yeah, I think these are really super. And, of course, they do have plates. They have a smaller, like, dessert plate and the main course plate. And so you have a combination of all the designs I've just showed you. So these I thought would be really fun for my family on Halloween uh, for us to have our supper. We tend to want to have uh, an easy supper, an easy uh, cleanup system on Halloween night because we're usually running back and forth to the door, answering the door for the trick-or-treaters. It usually starts around 4.30 and we go until about 8 p.m. or until the candy runs out. So... Uh, <laughs> It's important that we have disposable dishware for that night. And the other things I got that are Halloween style from Dollarama were these really cool gel-like, they're really squishy stickers. And the packaging itself is really neat. Like they even decorated the packaging. It's really gorgeous. And I just thought these stickers were really awesome. Of course, I love the Black Kitty, but they're just like, they're so squishy, really neat. You know, just, that's all you just want to, you just want to press on them. And so these are a dollar fifty. Yeah, a dollar fifty for this set of stickers, and they have quite some weight to them. So these are the ones I got. They also had Sticko brand uh, stickers, and. I got this one with the, look at these skulls. They're so fancy looking. These like Day of the Dead sugar skulls. Really fancy. So I got a few of those. I thought those would be really interesting to use in different types of uh, vintage style scrapbooking or uh, mixed media making. So I got that. And I got this one of the Halloween, just to add to my Halloween sticker collection. And this will be great for scrapbooks. And then there's this one, which I think is really, really cute with all the tiny little candy. This is great for cards, for tags, scrapbooks, your planner. This is great for uh, the planner lovers out there who like the little, little stickers. Perfect. And finally, the other Sticko brand of sticker that I got was this one for Halloween in the orange. They also had it, I believe, in a black and a purple, but I just took the rusty orange one. So, uh, and that is, the other stuff is all stuff that I already hauled uh, last year. The die cuts, the other stickers, they have some fabulous stuff, uh, jo Jolie's and... Um, can company die cuts uh, but I already have a lot of that from last year so I focused on getting new things that I didn't have this caught my eye as I walked down the aisle where they have the gift wrapping and the ribbons and the bows and gift bags they had this and it's by Hallmark spiral tissue bag filler so this is what it looks like 
So, yeah, it looks like one of those bug things, you know, that you light up in the summertime to scare away the bugs. Anyway, that's not what it is. It's, all, it's paper, and there's several layers of, like, very thin paper together, and it's cut into this spiral shape, and there's, like, a hinge here, or an eyelet, and they show it here. So I guess you just, you shake it up, and then you get these old spirals to fill up a gift bag to make it all fancy. And, uh, and it says it is spiral tissue. So it's tissue paper spiral. And uh, my store had three on a hook for a dollar each. And I took all three because I thought this is really cute. A cute way to make a gift bag very special looking. And if I can figure out a way to replicate this myself, uh, I will. I love the idea. So I got that. There was, this was new to me. They had these sheets of glitter, glitter sheets. They're different from the other types I've seen at Dollarama. They're much smaller. And they had lots of different colors, but I chose the silver one. I chose it and this kind of chocolate color one and gold oh there was also a blue one that I picked and funny thing is I find the blue is like a little sparse looking compared to the other colors I don't know it's just me but anyway so these are the ones I picked up they are about eight by three inches it says eight by oh sorry that's not correct eight by five uh, and it's just a glitter sheet with adhesive on the back and these are a dollar twenty five so got that and speaking of glitter in a sheet but this is the cardstock I got a few more of these I really like these uh, cardstocks from Dollarama with the glitter you get three pieces in here of eight and a half by eleven or so a regular size sheet of paper but it is nice uh, cardstock and it is a dollar twenty five for the three sheets so I got uh, the fuchsia again and more of the silver I do use a lot of silver in different kinds of projects so I wanted to get more of that I also picked up some Halloween paper bags I love picking up the Halloween paper bags for different kinds of crafting and you get a, it's a good deal you get eight pieces of these lunch bag size paper bags for a dollar twenty-five, and uh, yeah, so I got these two designs. There's other, there's so many other kinds of designs, but these are the ones I got. And some more crafty stuff that I picked up. Uh, again, some stickers, but these are they're funny eyes, pairs of funny-looking eyes. They they look almost like googly eyes, but they're not googly. But they do have they're, they're kind of squishy. And I just thought these were a lot of fun. And these are $1.25 and you get 30 pairs. 30 pairs of eyes. Like that one. And I got one of these. Well, actually, I got two of the gel stickers that looks like it's very, like, 1960s, 70s, like, woo! Uh, colorful. They're gel type and they're just dimensional a bit and very very sparkly and I thought this would be great for uh, making some scrapbook pages about my uh, recent trip to Woodstock or Bethel I should say uh, where the original Woodstock was held so I just thought this would be appropriate and I also got this package of white glittery letters uh, there there are they are a card stock this is a really good deal you get these three sheets on here for two dollars so you get the entire alphabet a few times and some numbers so I think I will use that in my scrapbook as well I also picked up this rhinestone mesh sheet I have other types of mesh sheets of rhinestone but I just picked up one of this one in this color uh, this is different packaging than I've purchased before, so and I still have some left, so I just took one in this color. They had some jumbo craft sticks. These are really big uh, wooden craft sticks, and I just love that they come in all these different colors. 
And I just thought these would be great for lots of crafts and DIYs and such. So on home decor perhaps. Um, and these are $1.25 for 18 of these big tongue depressors in uh, these bright colors. Down the home decor aisle, they have self-adhesive tiles and they have them in different shapes and sizes and colors and finishes. They have some that imitate rock and some that are, look like fabric. It's just, there's quite a lot of stuff in that section for uh, home decor. But I wasn't interested in this for the home decor. I, I chose this one because they're all like small. It's one big piece but they're all like small pieces of different types of metals, different colors of metals. And I just thought I can cut these apart. So I'll just cut them apart. And I can use these to make some really cool uh, embellishments. That's, that's what my goal was. And these will be bases to make little embellishments for my crafting projects. And I just like the variety of colors and if they're all metal, very steampunkish, vintage, rustic looking uh, little types of embellishments. So I have to come up with some designs for that. But one sheet is $4. So just so you know, in case you want to do an entire backsplash, this is uh, what it looks like. Now in the Halloween decorations, uh, back to the Halloween decorations, I got these little garlands that they have, Halloween garlands. They are eight feet long. And this one is the bats, and I really despise bats in real life. But uh, for Halloween decorations, I got these. I got the, gar the bat garland, the pumpkin. This is my favorite, the pumpkin garland, the spider web, the skull. Let's try to hold them all together. And uh, last but not least, the witch's hat. So again, you get eight feet of these garlands for $1.25 a piece. And I purchased these not so much to keep them as garlands, although I might keep the bats in a garland to decorate outside my house. Uh, but uh, my idea was like you can cut these apart and just use each individual little basically like die cut for other types of embellishments. So that was my thinking. So it's that. Also, uh, I think these are really cute hanging, dripping from a gift bag if you're going somewhere for like a Halloween party or something. And they also make funny like fun necklaces. So lots of things you can do with those. I picked up a roll of this contact paper adhesive, uh, self-adhesive liner. I got the one in white just because I thought this would be a good thing to have. Sometimes I have a box or a shelf or something that just needs to be freshened up or needs a base and white is just perfect. So I got this roll of white adhesive liner for $1.25 and I can't really see how much you get 48 inches you get it's an 18 inch wide and there is 40 inches 40 inches in length on here so I could do quite a few boxes or sh one or two shelves with this I got that one and I got the marble looking one as well also for a dollar twenty-five. Just lots of things I can do in the house with these and of course I could use them in my crafting. I picked up some more rolls of the metallic adhesive film that I have already hauled. I don't know if I had this color. I don't see it in my collection there. But they had this one, this glittery silver one. Uh, and these rolls are three dollars so I got silver I got this nice gold and then I also got this shiny silver it's not glitter it's just shiny silver it looks like metal 
these are colors and style, things that I use a lot in a lot of projects that I do and home decor, things for Christmas. So I just thought I would get a few more rolls because how cute are these and how inexpensive are they at $3 a piece. Now, I've showed you in previous hauls that I hauled some uh, glitter lace rolls and this time I got one in the blue and one in the fuchsia just because they had those colors and I had not seen them before. And the last roll I have to share with you is a printed fabric roll and it is this lovely kind of coppery color of leaves on uh, a dark mesh type of thing and I think I'm going to be using this on my table at Thanksgiving uh, with my pumpkin centerpiece the candles so I have that I I have another bag of stuff to show you and I'm gonna try to squeeze it in here so I don't have to make a third video I picked up these pumpkin tattoos at Dollarama now if you've seen my recent post that I did on uh, my Halloween decor with Cricut uh, you've seen me use these and I did buy two packages not realizing that there were two there's two of these pumpkin tattoos within each package and they are a dollar fifty each and if you watch my video you'll see how easy they are to use and uh, I really like the effect that uh, this created on the pumpkin that I painted black and added this and made cat ears with it so uh, yeah look for those if you're interested I thought this was a good deal, these little poopy bags. <laughs> I use little poopy bags with my cat. No, I don't take her on a walk, but when I do um, clean up after her, after she's used a little box, I always use little bags. So uh, these are perfect for that reason. And they're also the perfect size for little trash uh, can that I use in my car and in my husband's car. So. We'll use a lot of these little bags, so we get 240 of these little tiny garbage poopy bags, and uh, it's four dollars. And there's different colors, and some of them have little bones on them. So, yeah, it'll make disgusting garbage and poop scooping more fun if that's possible. <laughs> I saw these vinyl runners. They are 22 inches wide by 72 inches long, so that's six feet. Uh, these, and they have the little grips at the back. These are the types of vinyl runners that we can lay down uh, at our entrances, at our doors. And we can put this over any rugs that we want to protect or flooring that we want to protect in the winter from the slush from snow, from all the salt and all that cruddy stuff that gets stuck to our boots uh, and just keep help keep the floors of my home cleaner. So I got a couple rolls of this and each roll is $4 and that is really, really a good price because I have to pay a lot more for this stuff at the hardware store. So uh, yeah, four bucks, yes please. And a few household items, but also can be used in the crafting. I saw this parchment paper. It is the Reynolds Kitchens parchment paper. It is uh, made in Canada. And it says it has a smart grid on it. And it does. It has this grid on the paper. So this line grid on the paper. And I just thought that is great for when you're trying to get even sized cookies or you're working in the craft room and you're trying to space out like if you're making enamel dots or glue stencils or hot glue stencils or anything that you are making a bunch of uh, I just thought and you need a non-stick surface this would be really useful to have so I got two rolls one for the kitchen and one for the craft room and these are two dollars a piece so they are parchment paper with a grid on them so the next two items are a little bit boring, but they're really for the household. Uh, I got this huge t roll of duct tape, the real duct tape. Uh, it is like a charcoal or black color, and it says it's the clean removal, so it's Duck Max clean remo removal, so it holds well, and when you peel it off, there, there shouldn't be uh, a lot of residue left. 
and I believe I paid four dollars for this gigantic roll of uh, duck brand duct tape and goodness knows we use a lot of duct tape so that will be going in the garage with the tools I picked up more garbage bags just because yeah well we needed them and uh, these are the scented ones and I bought the kind the I bought the cult some in the blue color for recycling and I think I also bought some of the white ones for the regular garbage this is a repurchase I purchased these every month they are the Lysol clean and fresh and this is the nature fresh inspirations uh, for cleaning the toilets so we have that and I got some air fresheners Pure Breeze renews it uh, two times, the odor neutralizer. These are a dollar, and I, I buy these now at Dollarama because a dollar tree, I pay $1.25 for something similar unless I get a bonus pack. And so I thought, well, I'll just save, you know, a little bit of money. I'll get them for a dollar at Dollarama. So I bought several of those to put throughout my house. The next item I have to show you is a home decor item. It's a little rug. Look at this. They, it's like a real big one, but in tiny shape, <laughs> tiny form. So it's a little floor mat made to look like a very fancy rug. And it is $4. And that will be going right here in my studio uh, at my back patio doors, just so we have something to stand on when we take when we put our shoes on to go outside or come in and just keep the floor clean. And I chose it in this very dark color just because uh, my cat will probably be lying down on it a lot and her fur will be getting all over it. <laughs> um, I have two more items I think to show you. Yeah, I got this Dawn Ultra, so it's two times concentrate, I think it says. So it's quite a good deal because you get two times per drop based on cleaning. And I know I have to use less of this brand than other brands of dish so so uh, I think it's a good deal and this one is Dawn Ultra Escapes Fuji Cherry it does have a lovely scent I'll be keeping this in my studio here because I do have to wash a lot of things and it's pink so it's it's a lovely shade I believe this was three dollars uh, but I know that yeah oh it smells lovely uh, I know that this is a good deal I get over 600 milliliters I believe yeah 638 milliliters and I believe I believe this was three dollars for this uh, Dawn this is gonna go a very long way and finally what I have to show you is this masher from Tefal uh, brand name at Dollarama it is a small masher I I have, a, I have big mashers, regular size, uh, like potato mashers, but I thought this one would be really cool for me because it's a short handle and sometimes I don't want, I don't like working with the taller one for some reason, but I thought when I'm making guacamole or something, uh, this would be really, really cool for mashing my avocados. And it's really substantial, it's a good, seems to be a good masher. And where's the price? The price is not on here, so I'm not, I don't even remember how much I paid. I'm sure this was not a dollar. This was probably like three or four dollars, but uh, it's a T-Fowl, and I think I did good. So that is it. That is all for my huge Dollarama haul that I had to show you in two videos. Thank you so very much for sticking uh, with me on this one, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up please like comment share and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed stay crafty and i'll see you after the next video bye